Good day everyone! Today, we will be discussing interactions among living things in their environment. Together, let's make learning science fun and easy. Living things interact in the environment based on their functions and roles. In the previous lesson, you learned about how organisms relate to one another and how abiotic components control these relationships. Interactions from one organism to another organism may bring either good or bad effects. There are interactions that both organisms benefit from, meaning they help each other to live. There are also forms of interaction that only one organism is benefiting while other has never been affected neither beneficially or harmfully. Let's do this. Draw the following animal using the illustrations as guides. Connect these animals to show what they eat and they are being eaten by other animals. Mutualism is it's an intera interactions of two organisms wherein both are getting benefits from each other. The best example is plants and animals in general. Plants give off oxygen needed by animals, while animals exhale carbon dioxide needed by the plants. Example of mutualism is a bee and a flower. In this mutualistic relationship, the bees get to eat and the flowering plants get to reproduce. Commensalism. This is an interaction between organisms in which one is benefiting while the other has never been affected, neither beneficially nor harmfully. The best example is the relationship between the orchid and the tree. The orchid is the only one being benefited from the tree. Example of commensalism Clownfish get their protection from the sea anemone and the anemone is unaffected. Another form of commensalism, Bernacles have the benefit of moving through waters attached to the wheel. The wheel receives no benefits, but it is not harmed either. Predation and parasitism are two types of interactions that may be harmful when not in proper control. In predation, the predator is an animal that is usually benefited by eating the prey or animal that is harmed. The number of predators is determined by the available prey in the area. In parasitism, parasites are the small organisms that live outside or inside the body of the host, organism that is harmed. Example of predation Spider spinning webs to trap and kill insects. Another type of predation? Scorpions using their venomous stinger to kill insects. Example of parasitism. Mosquito bites into humans causing malaria and dengue.
let's do this fill in the table below choose the words from the box predator lion prey cow predator bird prey earthworm predator snake prey mouse predator frog prey grasshoppers predator octopus prey shrimp predator shark prey fish let's do this examine the pictures below answer the guide questions What is the type of interaction that exists between these organisms? The interaction is that exists between these organisms is parasitism. What organisms are involved? The organisms involved are called parasites characterized as ectoparasites and endoparasites. Which organism benefited from the interaction? The organisms benefited are human whipworm, liver fluke, ascaris, and pinworm. Which organism harmed from the interaction? The organism's harm is human. Let's do this. Examine the pictures below. Tell the name of the organisms. Write the relationships that exist between each organism. Answer the guide questions in. Organisms, flower, and bee. The relationship is mutualism. Fish and seaweed. The relationship is commensalism. Orchids and tree. The relationship is commensalism. Bird and tree. The relationship is commensalism. Which of the pictures of organisms show beneficial interaction? We can say that all pictures show beneficial interactions. The first picture both benefited each other and in the last three pictures, one organism is benefited but no other organism was harmed. When do we say that an interaction or relationship is beneficial? We can say that the interaction is beneficial if both organisms are benefited and no other organisms are harmed. Which of the organisms are not benefited nor harmed? The organisms that are not benefited nor harmed are seaweeds and trees. I understand that living things interact in the environment based on their functions 
and roles. Interactions from one organism to another organism may bring either good or bad effects. There are interactions that both organisms benefit from, meaning they help each other to live. I realized that interactions in the environment may also be harmful to an organism. Species interaction includes mutualism, commensalism, predation, and parasitism that keeps an ecosystem rich in different organisms. These biological interactions are important in nature and in keeping the balance of nature. Thank you for watching. Till our next science lesson. Goodbye!